did a TikTok earlier, kept it short, kept it sweet, and I said, don't let these women come to your place empty-handed. Don't let no woman come over your house and use your AC, your water, your Wi-Fi, your, your gas, and all she's doing is bringing herself. Pussy ain't worth all that, in my honest opinion. <laughs>
you never have to be in a rush. You never have to operate from desperation. Why? Because there's billions of them. And not only are there billions of them, let, let, let's get it understood. Because I don't think you men understand it. A woman is a liability, if I've ever seen one. A woman is going to drain you of energy. She's going to drain you of resources. She's going to drain you of attention. She's going to distract you off of your focus. And guess what? She's going to need constant, constant reminders on why you picked her and why she's awesome and why you feel the way you feel about her. Because telling her on Monday and then now it's Friday, she forgot. She's emotionally bankrupt, so she needs to be refilled. And not only that, see, your anniversary is coming up. So now you have to do some grand gesture to now further concrete that you actually like her. <laughs> Sound crazy, right? Exactly. What I want for men, what I want, why my channel exists is because I want to continue to aid as much as I can with men starting to operate in a boldness but not only a boldness and awareness, gentlemen. What I see in the current day when I am interacting with guys and I'm socializing with men is there's still this heavy level of debris mentally that men seem to think that they have to operate from a place of desperation, lacking confidence, insecurities. I don't measure up. What if she talks to somebody else? All of these fears and concerns sounds non-masculine in my honest opinion because a man is sure about what he's capable of never ever ever has to sit there and overly doubt himself and not from the place of what that woman is doing but back to my original point see the dynamic needs to shift and what motivated this broadcast is i was having thoughts because you know i have thoughts you know i have conversations with myself sometimes <laughs> and i'll be like self Hmm, why is the world this way? Why do people do this? Why is this the way it is? And I go out on this journey on trying to do what I can to further understand and maybe even come to a conclusion. Sometimes I find some clarity. Wanna know what I was thinking about? I'm gonna share it with you. Glad you asked. I, in my dating career, one thing I found to be a commonality with most women, and it could have been my experience, but I observed some experience. I usually normally don't talk to you guys on my sole individual experience. What I try to do is I take my experience and then I take all of the people I've socialized with over the 30 some odd years I've been alive. And then out of the 22 countries I've traveled and all of the interactions I've had and the data and things of that nature. And I try to compile my point anyway. When I was heavily dating, one thing I found to be consistent was that most women were not living at an adult-like standard. What do I mean? They were adult age, but their lifestyle didn't match adult-like living. Need an example? Great. Most of them will live at home with their mom or their auntie or their grandma. But where they were residing was not their place was not their home, was not something that they worked hard to get, to save for, to qualify for, to position themselves to live as an adult. That's not what I was seeing, and I still don't see it. Most young ladies, when you're interacting with them, they leave wherever they're coming from and they go to their mama's house, or their daddy's house, or their parents' house. But then have the audacity to come out into the dating market and believe and think, that she is going to carry herself from a place of power employee and demand that you, the man, the employer, provide her with these benefits, provide her with this paycheck, provide her with these resources in this network and so on and so forth, solely based on the fact that she's a candidate. No, I am of the mind, gentlemen, that if a woman is going to date, especially in the modern time, she should be dating you from the place of an adult. What does that look like? 
That means that young lady needs to be have. If she has a form of transportation that requires a vehicle, she needs to have a vehicle. Don't matter what kind of vehicle, just the fact that she has one. She needs to have employment or a source of income because she's an adult if she's claiming that. She needs to have her own place or a space that is hers. Not this whole, I'm gonna live at home, not pay for nothing, not have no overhead, act like I'm grown, and then judge you, the man, like I am living a real adult life. No, sweetie, you are pretending. It is a facade. And that's my issue, gentlemen. But see, I have to hold the men accountable because see, What's the pro what the problem is is that you got a lot of men that are trapped in a time 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 continuum that is traditional and modern. I believe I've I've figured out how to kind of live and exist in both. On one hand, I'm very much traditional, you know, chivalrous gentleman, so on so forth. I'm the man, she's a woman, protection, provision, all of the above. But I also live in a modern time. See, I'm not above a woman being all that she can be. I'm not above a woman living as an adult. See, because the issue for me and, and hopefully for you is that if you claim to be a woman, if you claim to be grown, well, then there's evidence of that. It's the same thing with you gentlemen. You know, I grew up in the 80s and the 90s. And one of the things we used to use a lot terminology you hear man i'm grown you know i'm grown you used to hear it all the time on tv and whatnot but the response from women was well where's your grown stuff where's your grown lifestyle because to say i'm grown translates to something and these women are out here talking about that they're grown and they're this and nobody can tell them nothing but obviously someone can because they either got a curfew or gotta go home to their mom's house. You know, I was out there the night, <laughs> crazy. Met a couple of young ladies, just socializing. And um, I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm about to take off. You guys Ubers on the way? They're like, no, my mom about to pull up in about five minutes. It's two o'clock in the morning. Your mom's coming to get you? Yeah. She, you know, she, she wants to make sure we get home safe. What? Like, <laughs> now, I wasn't fishing. I wasn't trying to get at these women or anything like that. So it didn't matter to that degree of judgment. But I promise you, gentlemen, that if you were with your boy hanging out on the corner after being at a venue or something like that, and a couple of young ladies were talking to you and asked you what you were about to do, and you said, well, my mom is on her way. She'll be here in about five minutes. She would have looked you in your face and said, it was nice to meet you. The standards are different, gentlemen. I understand I can live with that. I'm sure most of you can live with it. But what I want to see is men start to operate in a place of requiring what these women are claiming they are grown adults i did a tiktok earlier kept it short kept it sweet and i said don't let these women come to your place empty-handed don't let no woman come over your house and use your ac your water your wi-fi your your gas and all she's doing is bringing herself pussy ain't worth all that in my honest opinion we live in a time now that women are thriving. They're doing their thing. Good. Congratulations. But guess what? If our situation is mismatched, if I'm dating you, and in order for this relationship, this physicality, this comfort to exist, per, the equation is that you have to end up at my house at the end of the day that you have to end up under my tutelage, my grind, my hustle. And chick, I'm still paying for dates. I'm still having to not only take care of my lifestyle that you benefit from, by the way, but I didn't have to go and do more things for you outside this house for you to also enjoy life. And then on the flip side, I can't enjoy life the same way with you. See, cause I can't call you up and say, hey baby girl, hey, you know, I had a hard day. 
I don't, I just want to come over. Can you make me a meal? And you say, sure, because you got it. Because you have the provision, you have the lifestyle as a woman, you have the skill set and the willingness. No, you know what's gonna happen? She gonna either tell you she can order you some Postmates or go get some groceries and come to your house and cook. And some guys may be like, well, shoot, she gonna come over and cook, it's all good, it's all gravy. That's cool. The point I'm trying to make, gentlemen, is that it's uneven. So since it's uneven, you need to have the energy, have the expectation, have the understanding that you're not operating with somebody who is bringing equal value to the equation. And you need to treat it as such. No longer should it be that men operate from a place of desperation, a place of fear, a place of anxiety, and thinking that he has to do above and beyond for this chick. No. I want to see growth. I want to see better for my men. And I want you guys to start holding these women accountable on the things they claim to be. So that is what I wanted to talk about. This is Daniel Rucker with Truth Table. Thank you for hanging out with me today. If you have not already done so, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to continue to come with this content. I do it for you guys. Hopefully you're enjoying it. And let's continue to assist me in the growth that is my channel. Share the content. Like the content. I appreciate it. Until next time.